Yeah, hi there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson and on the previous lesson we learned some of the stuff like creating how to create a create store file how to generate all of the release build and in this lecture we are going to see about the google play console and how to prepare our console account or how to create an application or how to prepare our application for the release in a google play console and if you don't have an account in a Google Play console or Google Play store, you have to create an account and for that you need to pay a certain amount which is basically a $25 that you have to pay through a credit card or your debit card. So if you don't have an account on a Google Play store then it doesn't make sense that and you cannot release your application to the Google Play store. But and I hope you guys can do it and i hope you can create an account and and pay a 25 dollar and that it, that will be a good practice for you as well as and a good experience so i recommend you to create a google play console account and uh, but it's not free so of, of course it depends on you whether you want to create or not so if you have a console let's go and see how we can uh, create and launch our application so I'll go to my all application from here. So this is a new version of the Google Play Console, which is just released on the November 2nd. So I'll go to the all apps from here and create a new application or create a new app and I'll give a name. So I'll just give a name, something like uh, to do. And uh, this to do will be on the English an app or is not another game and it's a free and i will say that confirm me the confirm that the app meets the developer program policy this is just a demo application so i'm not worried about all of this stuff and i'll just say uh, to do and i'll just give as a um, udem uh, udemy your course app and just create the application you can give any name so i just give a name that uh, basically suits me and the next is that we have to configure some of these steps so initial setup so i need to go to the view the tasks so first of all i need to app access let us know about the content of your application just click on app access and all functionality is available without the special access or all or some functionality is restricted because this is just a demo app and i don't have any restriction so if the part of your app are restricted based on the login and membership location right so based on this stuff so all functionality are available without the special access or all all or some functionality is restricted so based on your instruction you can just uh, just put as a default one uh, all functionality is available without this special access and i'll just go back and from there i'll go to the content rating the second step and start a questionnaire so i just have to we just have to fill in so the email address that we have to provide here paste the email address over here and a reference no this is not and this is not a game and i'll just, just give it as a utility or something like that because it's not an entertainment game or it doesn't contain all of this stuff so i'll just give it as a utility from here and violence does the app contain a violent material no and sexuality no language and it doesn't contain any offensive language right and control substance does the app contain a reference or the description to illegal drugs no uh, I, we are not promoting all of the, a promoter of the age rest, uh, restricted products or the activities and promoting items or the activities typically age rest, uh, restricted such as the cigarette alcohol firearms or gambling no right and the uh, miscellaneous is that does the app uh, natively allow users to interact or exchange the content with other users like a voice communication, text sharing, image, audio. Just give it as a no. Does the app share the user? No, we are not using any physical location. Does the app allow the user to purchase the digital goods? No. 
does the app contain any swastik or the Nazi symbols no we don't have any swastik or the Nazi symbols and is the app web browser or the search engine no that's that's it and uh, just save this one and go to the next content from here and okay so i got it game are uh, not suitable on okay so it's not a game and i'll just submit this one so it will take some time to get the content rating and they will send you a email to particular this email that what's the rating and it will take some time at least few days on the current situation it will take at least uh, because this is the current situation of the covid and uh, basically it was uh, when i just released my previous application it took me around uh, around six to seven days so you just have to wait for the email and i'll just go to the go back to the app content and the next is i will go to the privacy and policy start so uh, we don't have any privacy and policy because we are not collecting any of the stuff i think and uh, add so currently add we don't have any add news app so target audience and content and you must complete the ad section before okay so i need to go to the ad section yes this app contain the ad so if you have uh, if you have implemented the ads and uh, you can just say yes the, the app contain the ads but currently we don't have any ads so i've just said no the app doesn't contain any apps but in future if you want to uh, implement the uh, ad so you can just say yes this app contains the app and just save this one and just go back to the app content and i will say something like a news app so i just need to say no this is not a news app save this one and go back and uh, target audience so i'll just say the target audience so I'll just give it as uh, over 18 over and uh, or you can give on depending on you so you must you must add a privacy and policy if your target audience include children on the 13 so if you are targeting below the 13 then you must add the privacy and policy so I'll just say uh, over 18 and could could your store listing on intentionally appeal for the children so if you want to unintentionally appeal for the children then you can just click on yes otherwise no google if the google disagrees with your answer you won't be able to update your app so make sure just say that no the not designed for children label may be shown on uh, next to your app so that should be okay just click on next and save okay so i think most of the things have been uh, completed over here currently we don't have any privacy and policy and because we need to create a web link for that privacy and policy so if you have a website you can just add what is the privacy and policy privacy policy for this particular application and you can add in add the link over there and then i'll just go back to the the i think i'll go to the release overview over here currently we don't have any release overview so we just have to so i'll just go to the store presence for now so let's go to the store presence right and main store listing and the short description so what is this about so i'll just keep this my my course description and i'll just copy and paste and that should be around uh, only 80 so 80 character is available build a complete app with the MVP architecture, Kotlin, Kotlin, Laravel, all those stuff. So I think I'll remove some of the things like uh, this one. So that should be okay. And I'll just copy the same course description from here and paste it over here. And uh, then I need to provide the app icon and i have already already created the icons and all of this stuff and i will be uploading it to this lecture so you can just download it from here so you can see the size is by the 512 by 512 pixel and i have some uh, already created so i'll just 512 by 512 so i need a 512 by 512 
So I already have then I'll just drag and drop it over here and uh, that should be be the one okay and a feature graphic I need by the 1024 by 500 pixel so I have already created that one so I'll be adding this all of these resources in the lecture section you can download it so it must be wrong dimension must be 1024 by 500 pixels so it's it's not correct so I need to amend that picture let me try to upload it again i have just rearranged the size of this image let me try to upload okay that should be fine and uh, some of the screenshots that i have to add so i have already taken some of the screenshots so i'll just drag and drop that all of those image and i'll add it over here and for seven inch if you have a uh, seven inch tablet you can just add uh, some like just i will add just add one image same image i'll just copy and add it over here you can just drag and drop the same image and uh, the video link we don't have any video link for now and uh, you can check over here i think most of the things is done already and all of this resource i will attach to the course lecture section you can download it from there so now you can see we have a app icon and the name for the icon already and uh, store listing so store settings so if let us check some of the option so app is app and we select the category this category is of something like uh, let's say of tools and the email address that we will be providing over here phone number website all of those stuff is can provide it over here so i can just go i think some okay so i think just that's it so i'll not provide any of the other stuff and i'll just save that one and then that should be okay and the uh, next step is to let let me see app signing so uh, we need to upload actually the 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 file that we previously generated and i think we will do it on our next lecture and we still have some of this stuff we still need to set up over here and uh, it's quite a long video so let's meet up in the next lecture and uh, let us continue with till then have a great day